this month on Cook This, I'm making many of my favorite Greek dishes, some inspired by my Thea and Thula, and many of the ingredients repeat throughout. Lots of olive oil, fresh lemon juice, and many fresh herbs. First up is my Greek salad. You don't want to miss this. Hey guys, so today we are making my Greek salad. So first up, I just grated my zest into my bowl, and now we're gonna use my little juicer. This thing is a great little tool. I have my extra virgin olive oil. So you want a good extra virgin olive oil, and we're making the dressing first. So about a quarter cup of lemon juice into our extra virgin olive oil. and we have to season it with salt and pepper. If you feel like it's a little too acidic, you can always add a pinch, just a little pinch of sugar. That sugar balances out the acid. And then we're gonna shake, and these little mason jars are great to make dressings in. Perfect, we'll set this aside and just assemble our salad. I have a good feta, so, so important. You wanna buy feta that's in a uh, sort of milky, creamy brine, and one that's from Greece. It's gonna be really creamy, and you want it in this big block, and we're gonna just dice it into big cubes. And when my husband's relatives come over from Cyprus, they bring the best feta, but do not tell anyone. <laughs> I am not sharing. So this one is not from Cyprus, but I gotta tell you, lately I've been noticing in the grocery store, they've been having some really good quality feta. So you'll be able to find some good ones. All right, into our bowl. So I'm gonna layer this a certain way for a reason. So I have the feta, we have pitted kalamata olives, again, Greek olives, and then just clean, keep clearing your board area. Now, you have an English cucumber, so this is the best way to get this plastic off. So we're gonna cut it in half, because it can be a little tricky. Just run your knife straight all the way down. Really thin, you don't wanna take the flesh, you just wanna remove that plastic. It's the best way to get it off. It can be so tricky. So I'm just gonna take the plastic off of our English cucumber and then peel it and slice it an English cucumber, sometimes they're called hothouse cucumbers, they have a lot more flavor. They're not as watery as a regular cucumber. So you're just gonna have it, and then we're gonna slice it and add it into our bowl. So I have very ripe and delicious tomatoes. So it is the winter time, so this seems like generally a more of a summertime salad. My motto, a salad like this is all year long. I could eat like this every day. It's so fresh, so healthy, and it's nice to sort of break up the winter blues, right? You still eat salads. This is a great hearty salad because you have those kalamatas in there and that feta just sort of beefs it up. So we're just gonna cut the tomatoes into thin wedges. And tomato on the vine nice we can always get them ripe all year long so that was the last round of the tomatoes so now so I layered it this way for a reason that way my cucumbers and tomatoes can be right on top to grab all that salt so now we're gonna season it tomatoes need their salt but we need to be careful because that feta has that sort of natural salt and so does the kalamatas and now our fresh herbs so we have some fresh dill and fresh parsley that we're gonna to toss in there. All right, so now for your parsley, when you're chopping your parsley, roll it in a nice tight ball, and then chop it. That way it's not flying all over your kitchen. Easiest way. 
so this is all about fresh 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 and with the ingredients that we're using we can get them all nice and ripe and ready available during the winter during the summer and it's gonna be a delicious salad all year long okay our parsley and our bowl is runneth over <laughs> so I'm just gonna transfer it into this bigger bowl and then toss it in with our vinaigrette Now we have our dressing. All right, that is beautiful. Look at that. It's all about color and freshness. All right, so now we're just gonna transfer it back to our pretty bowl. is crusty warm bread man this looks great see this is this is my way of eating all right now it's time to give it a taste so I want a little bit of everything I have this kalamata and the feta and the tomatoes That is so creamy. The kalamatas have a nice little salty bite and the freshness from the tomatoes and the cucumbers and all those herbs. Head over to the newspaper's website and check out this recipe. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next week.